Hey guys and welcome back. Uh, as I said, I was going to be doing this bottling video. Here's the mead. It's been just over 24 hours and the, that, that bentonite worked awesomely. Like, it's very clear. It did its job within 24 hours. Now, I'm going to be adding a back sweetener. This is three gallons of mead. I have here three pounds of mead, so I'm just back sweetening it with uh, one pound of honey per gallon. So, with that being said, we're going to add our sweetener and then we are going to give it a little stir up with our new stirrer that I just bought. All I did here was I took my leftover three gallons because it was a 12 gallon batch and I used nine to make the mead. I was left over with three. Pound. Three pounds and now I'm going to pour it in and we'll use our stir and then we'll get to bottling. Alright, so I poured in my liquefied honey. Basically, it was three pounds left over from the uh, initial nine pounds that I put in this three gallon mead. And I added one cup of really hot water. I put it in the microwave for like two minutes and 30 seconds. And then I just shook up the, uh, the jar here and poured it in. So now I'm just going to give it a quick little, little stir up. got it all stirred up I'm just gonna let it sit for about an hour and let the uh, the bubbles all gas off and everything and then we will get to bottling so we'll see you back here in about an hour hi guys so sorry I wasn't able to film this last part uh, it was my first time bottling and me and my wife did it together we needed I need a little bit of help holding some stuff and just trying to get situated on how we're going to do our bottling process. So this is my bottler I bought. It was like $20. Works flawlessly. Worked very well. And basically I just set it on the ground and put the bottle between my feet and put my, my cork right in here and just squeeze this down and with little ease and you know bam that cork was in there so pretty satisfied with the product and this is what I'm left with I had three gallons of mead and here I have 15 bottles the last one only got filled up halfway so <clears throat> I had to pull some extra bottles that I had stowed away to use for this so I thought uh, 12 would do it. I was told four, four 750 milliliter bottles per gallon, but I guess I was told wrong because we need a little more. So there you have it. That's the final product. Now I'm going to just let them age for a period of time, um, and then I'm going to gift some to, to some of my friends and family. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. And I always try to get to people within 24 hours, so thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.